Good morning everybody! Today we are in Wadi Musa which is the city that you arrived to before traveling to Petra. Today we're gonna be going to Petra. Petra is an ancient ruin that was created by the Nabataeans. Apparently Petra before was a really big cosmopolitan city. It was a very beautiful city with beautiful water systems so instead of the desert being dry and without any greenery or water they found a way to make it really lush and green and there was pools and water and things like that so a lot of people back in those days would be attracted to Petra because it was a very commercial city there was a lot of shopping going on it was very green and there was water and it was just a great place to visit so that's what a lot of people would do and then with a lot of time um, different places of commerce popped up and so Petra lost its allure to people and so with time it kind of faded away and it went back to its dry desert beginnings but for a good time, Petra was the place to be. So yeah, we're gonna go and we're gonna check that out. And I think tonight we're gonna do Petra by night. So we're gonna see it all lit up, which is gonna be nice. We bought the Jordan Pass to do all of this. However, just so that you guys know, the Jordan Pass does not include Petra by night. That is a separate fee that you have to pay if you wanna go see it. We originally weren't gonna go see it, but we figured since we're here, we might as well check it out. I think it costs like 17 JD, which is around like 20-ish something dollars. And I will give you guys all the information for everything down in the description box. That way you guys know the current prices. I'll give you guys the website that you can go to buy the Jordan Pass. And yeah, right now we're just gonna go to breakfast and then we're gonna go to Petra. Let's go. Okay, so we just finished breakfast. It came included with our room here at La Maison Hotel Petra. It's really close to Petra. I think it's only like two minutes away or maybe three minutes away walking. We didn't start today super, super early, but that's because we are gonna be going to Petra two days. So it's okay if maybe today we rest and kind of like not overexert ourselves the very first day because we have been kind of nonstop. And then tomorrow, I think we might wake up very early and then go. Right now it's actually, let's see what time it is, 9.44. Now we're gonna go to Petra. I'm so excited to show you guys how it looks. Let's go. Okay, we have made it inside. Now we are walking. There are horses to take you down. There's also people asking if you want a taxi so they'll take you in golf carts. But we are just gonna walk because we came prepared to walk. It's beautiful so far. It's very deserty, very dry and dusty, but it's really beautiful. about to go into the sea which is basically a narrow walkway that'll take us to Petra this walkway is pretty interesting because it wasn't made it was naturally created by erosion and that's where we're gonna go right now We 
walking now we're gonna walk through the narrowest part of the seat let me show you these are water channels where water used to flow through ¿Sí? ¿Y por qué soñaste estar aquí? Ya estás. Thank you. in one of the caves and he charged 5G deep to take us up here. So it's pretty good to see a really nice viewpoint and take a good picture. made it up to the lookout point. I have changed into my petunia dress because I wanted to wear this, but of course you can't wear this when you're hiking. So I have changed and now we're gonna take a picture. Okay, we have finished taking our pictures, but we found two friends here. Ala. Ala and? Talal. Photographer and videographer. Talal helps me. <laughs> <laughs> good moral support, good friend. 
Okay, we are taking a little break, having a little seat. This is our view right now. This right here is called the Treasury. This is an iconic place here in Petra. They think that this was constructed in the first century BC. And if you look at the very, very top, there is a funeral urn. And they say here, there's a legend that says that Pharaoh's treasure is buried underneath that urn, so. Yeah, it's pretty incredible, so intricate, lots of detail. There's like a man's silhouette there, and I think this person was behind or in front of a horse here, except the horse is gone, but the, the man's body is still there. On this side, there is also another torso and another figure of what I think looks like a horse. There's the man standing in front of the horse. It looks like almost the horse is like standing on one leg, and then the man is standing right in front of the horse. So pretty incredible that this is still here. And it's such beautiful work. Also inside of the treasury, we're actually not allowed to go in there, but it looks like it's painted. There's like paintings of sorts. Obviously they're very faded, but you can still tell that they're in there. And down below, it looks like there's some tombs as well. But yeah, unfortunately we're not able to go in there. But yeah, this is the treasury here in Petra and it is absolutely beautiful. So we ended up going up to a viewpoint. We gave a gentleman five JD to take us up, actually five JD per person to take us up to that viewpoint. So we ended up doing that just because, of course, everybody knows the traditional pictures that you can get up there, which are very, very nice. So we did that and now we came down and now we're a little bit tired. So we're just resting here on the benches here. But yeah, we still have a lot, a lot to see, except we're very tired. So I think we're gonna rest here a little bit longer and then in a bit, we're gonna keep on going, keep on exploring. So far, Petra is really magical. It's very, very beautiful. It's so unreal just seeing like the canyon and the rocks, the rock formations. It's absolutely stunning, the colors. And then of course, Petra is so beautifully done. The craftsmanship and the art that has been put into that stone is really remarkable. And the fact that it's still around after so long is incredible as well. I think we are thinking about doing Petra at night, so we might do that. It costs 17 JD to do it. So we have to go get tickets if we end up doing that. They only have that, I think, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Today is Thursday, so if we want to do it, this is our last chance. So I think we might. And then tomorrow we're back to see Petro one more day. So yeah, it's been pretty cool. There's a ton of people, a lot to see. Everybody's really helpful. There's actually people that live here inside caves and things like that. They are the ones that offer to take pictures. Byzantine church. It is warm out here you guys. If you come here definitely bring water, bring a hat, bring maybe a lunch, packed lunch or something. They do have little areas where you can buy things but from what I've heard it's more expensive to do that so I would say if you guys can pack a lunch with you, bring a lot of water, bring a hat, sunblock, things like that. Comfortable comfortable shoes I think is important and also dress fresh maybe something that covers you a little bit but keeps you fresh because of course we have the sun beaming down but this place is really incredible i feel like i'm in some sort of indiana jones movie it's just so incredible but yeah right now we're heading over to the church 
and we're gonna walk a little bit more and see more things but every corner of this place is beautiful there's something to see everywhere beautiful carvings in the rock really nice people animals you see it all let me show you guys right now there's some goats Hola. Try to get ahead. Dijo que no. Where you go, but all I find instead is the nest that's already been flown. 